Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog, Vanjida Explorer. So for today's video, we're going for the fiesta. So I'm gonna show you guys how we do fiesta here in the Philippines or in the certain island that we are living. So of course, there's gonna be a lot of foods and some activities in the barangay and let's go! So now I'm in the car, so my friends pick me up. They rented this car for about 1,500 pesos or about 26 dollars. So the trip gonna take us for about 2 hours. And of course, I've been working from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. So I'll be here at the back of the car. Gonna be a Disney princess here just resting like and ready for the party the later. But here, aside from that, of course, I'm gonna show you the road in the countryside area and for sure you're gonna enjoy it and so this is how it looks like Introduce you. What's Hi. your name? Say My hi. name is Jasmine. Jasmine. And My you name are? is Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> so Aaron and Jasmine. And Ia. And Ia. <laughs> the shy one and the not so shy one. <laughs> hi. Hello. Nice sunset at the back. Well, we'll see your house, Grandma. Let's go house to the grandma. Let's go house to the grandma. Yeah. To the grandma to the house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. House sure. the grandma is <laughs> hey, so bigger. Oh, oh. And the baby is cute. This one is bigger. We have the same. Cross. Look. Huh? See? Yeah. Cross. You also have cross. Lord and Lord. Yes. Lord and Lord. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Do you pray? Yeah. We pray. Uh, <laughs> Now we already arrived our first stop. The main event or the main fiesta is gonna be tomorrow. But even for tonight, they already have foods to serve their visitors. And this is what I like in the Philippines, guys. I mean, if you are a visitor of someone, then you are always welcome. No, there is what? Scripted, maka, there is what? Guys? <laughs> Ano, meron There's a squash, mango, and cream, and also the main. What you call it? The main. Mm, the main. Greyham. It's the Graham, guys. Yawa mo. What's that Well, it's the first. It's the first time I have it squash. No. Yeah, never. What do you say? Any, it's healthy oh, wow. at the same time. Yeah. 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 Bring more. Bring more. You yeah. are not guilty at all to have some. Like, you know. <laughs> There's more, there's more Tupperware. Squash is good for your eyes to see more vitamins in the future, you know. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> You're just making this up as you speak. <laughs> uh, it's good for your eyes, I think. Uh, yeah, I need it some. I've been on my phone the whole day, so. Yeah, why not? You should try it. It's even like all mango lang. It, you don't taste the squash. You cannot taste the squash at all. Try it. Right? Amazing invento, Ate. I'll try this one. Next time, no mango on this squash. There's no squash flow. It's a squash. Did you want more, Aaron? No. Not too sweet. You are. Okay. It's not too sweet. I thought you would be toasted. <laughs> What's this, no, Gane? Is it the throat of the chicken? Oh, no, if we were only so lucky. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, Aaron and Alex Challenge. Go, guys. Go. Hey, go, guys. Come on, who's gonna get a bite? Go, go, Aaron. Go get one, Aaron. Okay. Go, Aaron. She's more fried. Go, Aaron. Go, Aaron. Go, Aaron. It's okay, Aaron. Delicious. No. You want balut or that? Okay, okay. Uh, How was it? How was it? You slung it on it's my okay, right? You don't like it? Sorry. Here. You don't like it? Give it, give it to oh, him. Let me do the crispy. Let me do the crispy. Here, go, go, go. I tried this one time before. Yeah. He's not even going to make a face. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah. <laughs> on to the next stop so this house is rachel mother and father house so everyone is preparing here for the main event for tomorrow but of course it's all food food everywhere because what are you expecting fiesta is all about foods over there? <laughs> I think it's not cold. <laughs> cold. Yeah, yeah. So yes, guys, it's non-stop eating. Food is everywhere. Even you go to the neighbors when it's fiesta, it's for everyone. And of course, we are here where we call peso net. It's where you put 5 pesos or 10 pesos and then it costs like for good for 3 hours or 6 hours of internet. As in the province, they don't have signal. And now we're back in their house. So this is how it's gonna look like, guys. So as I said, this is not the main event yet. But the fiesta is meant for the people to celebrate about foods, drinks, and invite everyone, neighbors, friends, or even enemy. Gonna be a to be for tonight. Jaja. Jaja is always a hardcore. So when Jaja is around, we expect to have some shots with tequila or some liquor. So I gotta respect her for one shot only. One Until shot, five shots. Let me. Do it. <laughs> for Jaja. Yes. I don't like it. Though. <laughs> Who likes it anyway? <laughs> Don't drink because you like it. Drink because it's celebration. Yes. <laughs> Look at that professional look. What is Rochelle? She's like, she's like, she's like, she's So now we're walking into this little town just to see the what the place looks like. And of course, a little stop by into the ice cream because after food, we want something sweet. And now we are right here in the local pool bar. And let's make some bets, guys. Go, John. Slow and smooth. May I introduce everyone the panel of judges for today's tournament. So Filipino versus the foreigners, locals versus the tourists. So now we can see who plays better. And it's time for Jaja for tonight's video guys. Let's see if you can shoot some shots. <laughs>
The last round. Come on. <laughs> Last ball. Let's see who's gonna win the hundred k. One hundred k bet, guys. <laughs> the Filipino team wins. <laughs> this American rules. <laughs> Where's the hundred? Rebat, rebat, 200. Rematch, 200. Rematch, 200. Oh. So yes, after the game, we're hungry again. As I said, foods is everywhere and it's unlimited, guys. So let's fill up some more as we can still go and save it up. Look, video. By partner. <laughs> By partner, this movie, guys. <laughs> How about me? Kita na lang tik. And now I'm gonna be showing you the traditional way if you're gonna do some overnight stay at your friend's parents' house. Of course, we need to prepare this bed in the floor and everyone will be sleeping here. And it's called sardines because everyone will be sticking side to side to side. And in one bed could be fit five to six people. And it's more fun doing like that. So it's all always um, pretty fun whenever you do some sleep overnights in your friend's house. Because everyone will be sleeping together in one bed. <laughs> Does it look good with me? <laughs> Smiling. Should I make one or two or three or four? Mm. And now the sun is up and let's go back to the first house that we went to to do some shower. And of course we are in the shower guys. It's not a typical shower. But I'm gonna show you how do province people get their water. So, so along the way guys, guys, I'm gonna, gonna show you guys the, uh, the main food for the main event. It's called lichon for the whole pig that is roasted. So see that one? That's how they do it. And now look at the view in the morning here in the province fresh air you can see nice views with these coconuts and also this is where they get their water so whenever you want to do your shower they always get here in the deep well and then put in a big bucket or something or a dump and then they put the water there and you can eventually do shower inside your bathroom after or even here inside coming here in this little town here is actually amazing seeing this kind of a province life which i miss so you can see these fr fresh little corned beefs here and then these little chickens and then also the fire for the lechon later and of course it's go to I want them to jump like to the highest level Now we're heading back to the big house again, so Yung first food will be there soon now. So we just finished watching the practice motor racing, it's not the real event yet, but we don't have time to watch the real one. Lichon is a derived from a Spanish word for roasted suckling pig is one of the most popular dishes in the Philippines. The slowly roasted suckling pig is usually stuffed with lemongrass, tamarind, garlic, chili, onions, and it's then roasted on a large bamboo spit over an open fire. It is traditionally served whole on a platter at celebrations of festive events such as weddings and Christmas or even birthdays. Once the meat is properly roasted and falls off the bone, people tend to eat every part of the pig and the crispy reddish brown crackling skin in special beloved. 
So actually, this one also symbolizes wealth. If you have your lichon, it means you have a little bit of money that you can share the people to eat at the same time. It's tight. It's tight. The butthole is tight. So it's hard to remove it back. If only this pig is alive, it's gonna move. <laughs> so this is the skin for the pig. Let me try. Mm. Welcome to my channel, Dandy. So, Christy, welcome. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then again, we're back for the main event, and this is the foods that they've been serving for the final show. So, of course, with the lechon and different dishes on the side, and a lot of desserts, and free ice cream for all the neighbors. Mm, my friend must be rich, or her parents. <laughs> so, it's such a nice gesture to, you know, feed everyone and invite everyone to their house to eat some foodies. So we'll celebrate this one at least once a year in every province, barangay, or where island we are located or any towns. Things that you will love probably here in the Philippines, guys, is all the people. Because even you don't know them, they're very easy to talk to. And most of all, they also know how to speak English most of the time. So when you have a foreigner visitor, they can also talk to you whenever they are not shy. And also every Filipino are very hospitable, very welcoming. You know, their attitude is just very bright and very friendly. And that's why a lot of tourists like to come or to visit here in the Philippines or even live. Because they love how Filipino or Filipina treats them as the visitor. Like, they, we welcome you guys with a warm heart and, you know, just no hate. And we love everyone here. So, yeah, for this video, I'm gonna be your serbetera or the girl scooping the ice cream so let's give the kiddos the old ones and whoever the fuck who wants some ice cream oops excuse me mouth so yeah here's your ice cream here's your ice cream it's ten dollars each charge so yes it's all free guys so anyone or for it's for everyone who wants some ice cream Neighbors and of course, kiddos love this one. Such a cutie, this big boy. Just give it to them, baby. Delicious. Bottoms up, now give it more. Give more. Other people. 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 Other I think when she was three years old, I noticed that the way she sit, how the way we sit. Thank you so much for the fiesta, Rochelle. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming. So that's Filipino. They're very it's hospitable every time they have visitors. So two days of only foods at Rochelle's parents and sisters. And it's absolutely nice. So two days fiesta is over now. We're heading to the car because I need to work at 2 p.m. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my little video about the fiesta that we celebrate. So I hope we also understand a little bit about our culture and how we celebrate the fiesta, about the foods and all of that stuff. So for sure, there's going to be bigger celebrations too that i would love to share in the future but for now the vlog ends here so please don't forget to share like or subscribe and let me know in the comment section where you're watching from
already. They're just waiting oh, yeah. to transfer. Mm -hmm. We did this for Vincent's birthday too. <laughs>